Howdy. Welcome to Fritz Park. Fritz Park opened June 24, 2005. And basically everything in the park today is all we had in 2005. We've done a few tweaks and a few manicures that have spruced things up. But this year, 2016, we're gonna get some improvements. So we're gonna take you on a little tour, and here we go. We're gonna take you down to the ball fields along Park Street. We're now along the Cottonwood Trail. We are gonna make a change here. We'll be ripping out the football stadium. This trail we're on now is gonna move a little bit as well. And when we put it back in, it's gonna have a slightly different path. Instead of going straight to 79, it's gonna take a little bit of a turn along with the creek. And we're gonna go off road and show you that one. This is one of our more popular parts of the, the park is the trail. And a lot of folks like to use this area and it is the safest way to cross 79 and the railroad without ever having to worry about traffic. So if you haven't been down here, give it a shot. Come down and exercise. Trails open 24 hours a day. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go check out Holmstrom Field, Hutto's original baseball softball field, created in the late 1930s or early 40s. As we look at this spot, Holmstrom Field has always been in this alignment. Home plate is down here in the southwest corner of the field. We're gonna take a turn on the field and we're gonna put home plate in the northwest corner. And home runs will now be shot towards 79 and Cottonwood Creek. It'll be quite a distance to get there, but I'm sure we've got a few softball players and baseball players that are gonna try. So this is currently how Holmstrom Field sits. We, again, are in the southwest corner of the, the site, and down the left field line will be the new home of home plate. So we'll change things around. The field will be large enough to take on our adult softball leagues and all of the youth leagues for baseball and softball. It'll have a variety of sizes, and it'll have the same type of skinned infield. We'll have an irrigation system out here that keeps the grass green, just like our guys have been doing for the last six or seven years uh, since this irrigation system's been put in. And we'll have new fencing and stadium seating. For those of you who have never been out in Wright Field, well, join us. We are actually now in the new center field. So, if you're playing deep center, this is about where you'll be looking back at home plate. You look at where the old scoreboards are for both the football and the baseball field. They're kind of back to back because of how things were put in, but we'll have separate scoreboards in different places. Both the home and visitors will have bullpens for their pitchers as well. And those will be on the inside of the fence. Now we are sitting in the spot where we're gonna have a drop-off drive for the concession restroom building. So when leagues are having a chance to fill their concession stand, they can pull straight up to this and then take things in there. But it'll be a concession stand restroom building. We will also have a little bit of storage in there for some of the equipment that we need. We'll have an umpire or officials room uh, that can be used. And our lighting controls will be here. Yeah, a little half circle drive so the folks can drop kids off, players off. The home side. These stands have been packed for years and years. Not just for our local youth games here recently, but we also have 
private schools that rent the stadium and use this as their home stands. So not only are we providing a space for our local leagues, we're also providing space that actually creates sports tourism here in Hutto. We'll be improving the visitor stands, but not as nice as the home stands. Yes, they'll be nice and up to date, but these home stands will be a great place for our local fans when they come here and the teams come here. Our grounds crews have made the fields great over the past 10 years. They're gonna to continue to make them great, but now they're gonna have the accessories around the field that make this place even more inviting. Not only will we make the improvements to the stands, but the press box will get a makeover too. The press box will also have a better crow's nest so that the local sports teams that do rent the field or even the local leagues that want to film their games have that opportunity. When we planned this facility, we wanted to make sure that we gave another nod to Heritage here in Hutto. We know the age of the fields. Holmstrom Field started in the late 30s or 40s. This old hippo stadium in the 60s. So each one is going to have some characteristics of actually Old Town Hutto. The facades for these are going to look like old buildings and that the facilities are built inside those buildings. Hope you enjoyed this tour on the Gator. It's going to be a great project. We are so excited about it. If you got any questions, keep an eye on our city website. We'll post updates there.